And the Squirrel Stampede is playing Minecraft again. Remember when Squirrel Stampede used to play Minecraft? My gosh, it's been a couple months. So here we are. Have you ever been here before? This is episode 11. Well, what do we have here? We've got our squirrel house. It is still standing. We've got our creeper explosion hole, which we probably should fix real quick. We have our kind of our front yard, a little bit of a sheep pen down there. If you look across the valley, there's pumpkin squirrel cross over there on the mountain. And we have a little bit of a garden right here. So yeah, it's been a little while. I've been so busy with things of awesomeness like Lego Movie 2 and How to Train Your Dragon 3. All these amazing toys coming out in the start of the new year has really got me behind uh, working with Minecraft. But now we can finally kind of get back to the game a little bit today. Catch up, repair this damage. This never really happened on screen. Uh, just before I was recording one day, a creeper had exploded right in the front of the house. It was just a huge mess. But I think we can clean this up pretty quickly and get our front door looking better again. Oh, I'm out of dirt. Well, that's great. But I've got plenty of cobblestone. Plenty of cobblestone. So what I was thinking for doing today was maybe taking a peek into the nether. Uh, on the last episode, episode 10, we had finally found diamonds, which was pretty exciting for me. Maybe not for the rest of the world, but I was pretty excited. And I built my first diamond pickaxe. So now we can go mine out some obsidian and make ourselves a gate somewhere. Um, oh, by the way, I played just a small amount in between episode 10 and 11. Uh, just enough to... Let me spin myself around here. Just enough to find 37 diamonds now. I've collected 37 diamonds and maybe a couple emeralds are in there too. So that's kind of new. Uh, I just spent... A long time just digging straight through the mine and every once in a while I would pick up some diamonds I thought that would be kind of boring for episode content after what we did in episode 10 so I just went ahead and, and got some diamonds uh, by just digging a straight line it must have gone on for like a hundred biomes under the earth but it was a lot of fun so where do we start where do we start now um, I guess we're gonna go to the mine somewhere Oh, I'm gonna get one more drink of water. I'd like to have at least a couple buckets for this obsidian deal. I could, I've got my friendly neighborhood lava factory right here, but I really don't want to destroy it. I love it. It's like my favorite place. Oh, I almost got burned. Uh, it's like my favorite place to look into uh, right next to my squirrel house. So we'll go down deep. I think I have an idea of where I can pick up some obsidian. I might have already froze it. Uh, and that's where we'll go. So let's run over there. Well, I think I've got everything I needed for a run. So we'll just head off this way towards the mine shaft that I've been using quite a bit for mining. So here we go. Okay, here is a good spot for some obsidian. It has been about a month since I've been down here and I don't know, it's weird. Like I'm hearing sounds, uh, skeleton sounds, zombie sounds. I've got plenty of lights. Uh, maybe it's just things going on behind the walls. I'm kind of creeped out right now, looking around, just making sure nothing shoots out at us. I think we're safe. I know it can get a little dark up in this corner over here. Uh, maybe just kind of peek my eye in over there real quick add a couple lights um, this area has never really I hear stuff man I am just kind of kind of creeped out today about what is going on in my cave what is that sound man I am hearing zombies everywhere it's really bothering me um, but I don't see anything I'm gonna have to go into this cave eventually here, but let's just go back. There's some iron over there. Man, man, there's just zombie sounds everywhere. Anyway, over here, we have a good spot, I think, for obsidian. Uh, the scary part with digging out obsidian is there could be lava still underneath, and so you gotta do it kind of slowly. Uh, you gotta make sure that it doesn't fall back into the lava. And I think we're gonna need at least um, what is it? Three by three by three by three by three or something like that. 
to make a good obsidian run at it. Let's do this real quick and see if there's any lava down there. So far, so good. Let's give it a shot. Get out the diamond pickaxe, the only thing able to chop down obsidian. I believe that you can keep your obsidian, right? Okay, our first piece. Oh, yay! New recipes unlocked. Ice bucket challenge, whatever that is. Um, there's so many things like that that I never pay attention to. And you can tell it just takes forever to chip out. All right, our second piece. Doing good. Kind of want to put a little light right there since I'm so edgy today. So on edge about this cave. This is a perfect spot for mining. Oh, redstone. Okay, so let's dig the rest of this out. Ah! Oh, scary lava. Hop up, hop up. Get out some. There we go. Whew. Still a little active over here. Still a little active. That surprised me. I was making faces. I was getting lazy. Okay, dig some more. Oh, this actually just pops through to one of the caves I was using for diamond hunting. We'll jump in there in a second. I'll show you how far this goes. It's pretty crazy. A couple more pieces, then I think we'll have enough for our gate to the nether. Nether been to the nether on my game of Squirrel. All right, what does that get us? That gets us 11 blocks. That's pretty good, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Mm. Almost want to get another block. We're going to run this way, and this should take me to a tunnel system, a very long system, where I picked up some diamonds. Uh, probably coming at it from a different angle. I left one of my dogs down here. Ah, that's funny. You can come with us. Okay, this is how I got into the mine for the first time on episode 10 to get those diamonds. Remember we went this way? And it is a long journey. Anyhow, not to waste too much more time, this path goes on pretty much forever as I collected more of those diamonds. I don't know why I'm over here right now, other than I need to find, go back a little bit, pick up just a little more obsidian. I think there's a couple pools of lava I could work with over here that I think I will want to grab from. Do I want to grab over here, or do I want to grab from the floor? Let's, I don't know, hmm. This kind of worries me. I feel like I'm going to catch on fire in here. Although, well, let's see. Let's grab one of my buckets of water. And let's see if I could splash out some of that. And then I'm going to ruin my my lighting, my, my bubble. Let's see if I could pop this out without um, lava underneath. I could actually get that redstone above it now. But I think I have plenty of redstone right now. It's not something I'm really interested in doing. Oh, some iron, though. Lots of good stuff down here. Okay, I think I've got plenty of obsidian. We've done really well. Add a little torch right here because I made it dark by removing some of that lava. There's our pup. Let's head back to the surface and find a spot for our gate. I kind of have a good idea for where to put it. It might take a little time though, but I think we have plenty of time today. A lot of coal right there. So let's run up. And this Again, being the location where we first started getting obsidian, that's where I just mined out that obsidian, and then I went into that side of the cave, if you're really curious about the inner workings of this cave. Ah, skeleton! Shouldn't have done this at night. Whoa! He's a fighter. My goodness, how many of these are gonna take? Okay, let's get home. It's not safe out here. 
Oh, there's a creeper on my way. Right in front of where I need to go, there's a creeper just standing there. That's just great. I shouldn't have done this at night. And I'm getting kind of hungry. Oh, I think we'll be okay. Oh, I'm getting slow. Oh, dear. This... Oh, boy. Not a good idea. Okay. There we go. Run, run, run. Whew. Hope my dog will take care of itself. And we have returned home just in time. Whew, I don't know where my dog is. I hope he made it. I don't see him out there. Maybe he'll just spot the... There's my llama. All right, well, let's head to bed. Hopefully my dog will come back. I'm kind of worried. I kind of, kind of abandoned him out there. Oh, well, let's uh, just go to sleep and we'll figure this out. Okay, it's the morning and my dog has luckily returned. He must have just been out there fighting all the uh, skeletons out there. I better eat something real quick. That got kind of sketchy on the way back. Oops, what am I doing? Eat. There we go. Alright, get my hearts back up. That skeleton fight was a little more than I thought it would take. And home sweet home. Maybe do a quick look around, make sure there's not any... Oh, sorry. Come on. Oh, now he's just never gonna come. Do a quick look around, make sure there's no creepers. Um, still a little edgy on that run. Oh, there's my boy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to build the gate right below the squirrel house. I think that would be kind of creepy. Um, and so I think we're gonna kind of work around these stairs. And I think what we'll do is right here, that should be deep enough. It's kind of like in between the steps. We are going to dig back in and around here. I might go from both sides actually, it might be kind of neat. Um, so come around here. Do that right. If I got that right. Oh, there it is. So I should have went there. Okay, better. Let's fix this little thing here. And then now what do we got? One, two, three. Oops. pretty well under the squirrel house over here. So now we're gonna have to dig out a nice big room to put our gate in. I like it. How many... I wonder how far we really have to go. That's kind of some numbers. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. About twelve squares into the front door maybe. One, so, uh, well, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, so maybe another six squares should put us close to the, under the squirrel house. It's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. Hopefully I won't find, like, a huge cavern or anything. So right in here is where I'm going to be working. I'm going to build out a room, and we can put our gate in here. I don't know. Is that smart? Sleeping under, sleeping above a gate to the uh, scary world of heating problems. Okay, let's dig out this uh, room real quick.
Okay, I think we're done here for the moment. Got a little carried away, I think. A little extra building. Where's some torches? I could use a couple extra torches in here. Um, so yeah, here's our nether room, our gate room. Put a couple of lights there. And that back wall might need to go back. Might need to go down a little bit more. But for now, I think we're good. Let's just call this good. Here will be the room where we put the gate underneath the squirrel house kind of somewhere. I like it. Okay, so where is the obsidian? And we've got 19 to work with, so not that much, but I think it's enough to kind of have some fun. And I think we'll just go right about here. Yeah, we'll go right there. And let's see, what kind of gate do we want to make? One, two, three. Do we have enough to go? One, two, three, uh, five, 10, 11, so 10. I think that would be enough. So here and here, like that. I'm gonna go right up to the ceiling. I might definitely want to uh, raise my roof a little bit eventually. Or maybe not, maybe, oh no, we're good. Optical illusion. No wait, eight, I have eight left. Gotta be careful here. Um, how am I doing this? What's the recipe for scaffolding? I forgot already. Um, so I've got eight. I think I can go across there. One, two, three, five. Oh, plenty. My math skills not so good today. <laughs> All right, there we go. Our gate to the nether, nice and square. I like it. Of course, the one thing I forgot to bring is some flint and steel. So we're gonna have to go get some real quick, make some fire. I think I'll put a little light right there. It's kind of kind of dark in here. Kind of really. Ugh. Okay, so let's run up, grab some flint and steel, make ourselves a little torch. Oh, it's nighttime. We worked all the way into the night. Hopefully there isn't any creepers out here. Ooh, I hear something. Creepy. Get in. Yay, you're half in. That's better than not in at all. And let's see what... Well, I'll go sleep first, and then we will take a peek into the nether. Our first peek into the nether. And so, where is my flint and steel? Okay, so there's some flint. I've got some steel. And we'll go over to my one and only crafting table and see if I can find where this is. For some reason, I thought I had already made this. There we go, flint and steel. Ta-da, good deal. And let's take a bite of potato. Probably should have tended to the garden today, but we didn't really get to that. My garden looks really ready to go. Got some carrots, wheat. Yeah, it's ready, but we are going to focus focus on the nether nice day today don't see anything out here to scare us we'll probably fancy up this a little more but now we can take a quick look inside the nether here we go are you ready to launch this thing you ready to see what what where we're gonna go oh boy here we go kind of scared Woo. there it is that's creepy oh boy Look at that. Oh, left a block right there. Oh boy, get your sword out. Hopefully we'll go somewhere that is not too, like, terrifying. Oh man. Ah, joining world, loading terrain. It's like, we gotta figure out this thing. Squirrel Stampede has made the advancement. Oh man, I don't like this already. Oh, there's a ghast right there. Ah, there's a ghast. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Oh, boy. I wanted to save a little, get a little bit of rock before we get out of here, but man. And then, oh, that's a hit. He's like right there, isn't he? We got to at least bring some netherrack home with us. Man, why is everything slowing down on us? Something is just tripping on us. Oh, my goodness. 
Well, that is the nether. That is a peak. Looks like we have some glowstone nearby. That's cool. And uh, some of uh, this stuff. Nether quartz, right? Is that what that is? But we've got a gas just right around the corner. And something's really slowing down. So I'm going to have to go back home. That is the nether, everybody. What a look. What a scary, creepy look. I'm going to have to come back, though, when there's less fire, less problems, because it's a little slow right now. It's a nice little cave to maybe kind of poke around in. Where did that gas go? I'm, like, looking around everywhere. I should I should put a bed down and take a nap, right? Oh, oh there's some quartz right there. Let's take this home, too. Yeah. Cool. That's good to have. The gas kind of has moved on, so maybe we can spend a couple more seconds here. Looking around, uh, I see some some interesting things over there. I should have brought more torches, if any torches. I didn't really bring any torches. Oh, let's get this, and then let's get out of here. Oh, I hear him. Man, kind of scary, but I want to get some of this. Should have brought. Okay, let's just get out of here. Let's go, let's go. That is a peek into the nether. Are you scared? I'm really scared right now. Oh, bye. Bye, nether. Ooh. So for our first look, pretty good. We survived it. We had a ghast kind of shoot at us and then leave. But I picked up a few treasures, so that was cool. That was, I think, successful. I, you know, anytime you live through something like that, you got to say a success. So with that, I think we are wrapping up on episode 11. We've made it unbelievable unbelievable adventure today maybe in the future we'll work on like a nether squirrel or something and uh, maybe something cool down the line what else do we have for review coming up um, these look uh, like a lot of fun feisty pets has some mini misfits these guys looked really funny so they come in little pet carriers I thought feisty pets would be fun to work on soon also this bucket of dragons from How to Train Your Dragon Hidden World. Kind of funny, uh, Spin Master has been kind of recycling a lot of stuff. I actually have a bucket of dragons from the first movie, so it'll be fun to kind of look at these and compare them with what was in the first movie. And this probably won't actually see the table because it's older. This is a fish legs on a meat lug Playmobil dragon. And wow, this is so much better than what Spin Master can create. I mean, it'll, oops, I keep bumping my mic. It might show up on a video, but I don't think I'm going to do a full review on it, but very cool toy. So that is episode 11. Thank you for joining our peek into the nether. I hope you were terrified as much as I was because that was pretty terrifying. So see you until episode 12. The nether would be a perfect place to store your acorns for the winter. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like. Share, subscribe.